one of the things that I think I'm very proud of uh, in my time at CISC was being able to grow the agency. I think we talked about um, it being kind of in an adolescence phase. You know, we started out as very grassroots, very from of the community. And um, over the years, we've grown to be very professional, increased our contracts and um, the amount of services that we did expanded uh, across King County to the east side and south King County and also started um, working with other communities to serve other immigrant uh, families throughout King County. And it wouldn't have been possible without the support of all of our funders, the city funders, county, state, um, donors, the staff, of course. I just can't say enough how much the staff is the, the heart and soul of CISC. If it weren't for them and their incredible dedication and hard work, the, the organization wouldn't exist. Helping immigrant families navigate the community was very important to me while keeping their heritage alive because as we know, the community here is very complex. Um, so I really like that aspect of it. The other thing I really liked once I got to know about CIC is that they help not just the individual but the whole family. So in whatever they needed help with in terms of navigating the community, they helped. Not that not just that person, but the whole family, the children, the grandchildren, you know, parents, anybody. And that really, really called out to me. One of the programs I really love about CIC is Sunshine Garden. It helps seniors keep an independent lifestyle, um, engage in the community, and just keeps them full of life and joy. I think that's really important. Um, I'm really happy to see how much our agency, and especially our department, our Russian-speaking department, grew over a um, few years. Uh, we started with just a little over 75 clients back at the end of 2015. And today we're serving over 700 clients in our Russian-speaking department. We provide in-home care services for people who are not able to care of themselves 100% at the in-home setting. Uh, we arrange different kinds of assistance for them, including caregiving assistance. And we provide care plan for them. And this care plan helps the client to live the best life in the community without going to a nursing home or an adult family home. One of my favorite memories was visiting the preschool. I remember visiting that program and watching the joy on the children's face as they discovered new things, but the teachers were speaking to them in their native language, and it just opened their eyes to the world and made them comfortable to learn and, and find out more about the world as they were going uh, through their early childhood learning process and then going on to kindergarten. The reason why I want to uh, serve and dedicate my effort to support CISC and its mission and values, because knowing what we do can really provide the resources and the tools that the staff of CISC need to continue to carry on these meaningful services, especially for the new immigrants and also after youth program and the senior elderly program, so that no matter it's helping the seniors that are being neglected in the community, uh, or the kids that in the after school program that need assistance because uh, their parents have that language barrier that cannot help them with their homework, or just for the new immigrants family in general to find their cultural roots, they can definitely get the help that they need to uh, uh, serve the, you know, their family accordingly. And knowing what CISC does for the community, especially around the new immigrants assistance program, and the cultural navigation program, I really feel proud to serve a meaningful organization like CISC. The reason that I have served CISC for so many years is because of 
my desire to continue the legacy that was started by the original founders, who some of whom I know, and early volunteers who really saw the need in the community and to find a way to address that need. And some of them are past and no longer with us, but their memory is still important to me and CISC was very important to them. So that's why I feel the desire and the motivation to continue doing the work. I think it's still very important that we are able to be in the community and provide those services. My involvement with CISC is very much focused on its mission and I am most proud of the staff. The staff has been dedicated and compassionate and caring and I really feel that they are the foundation of the agency. So the work they've done has been tremendous and a real benefit to the community. And it's a privilege and an honor to be part of CISC as the executive director for the last four years. There are many impactful moments at CISC. Visiting our family center, you can see the smiles on kids' faces at our after-school program. Going upstairs to our sunshine garden, you can see the gentle motion of seniors as they practice Tai Chi. And you can see the laughter and the connections at a Russian Senior Day program. And the relief on families' faces when they ask questions about healthcare and get the information from our staff. CISC makes a tremendous impact every day and serves more than 15,000 people each year. And what's special about CISC is the power of community. Over the five decades, your support has helped build an organization who's responded to so many community needs, and especially during the last couple of years during the pandemic. We've seen our dedicated team of more than 120 staff provide information, essential needs, helping vaccinate our elders and families, and make sure that people have the information they need to stay healthy and maintain their quality of life. And we really appreciate that power of community and your support throughout the last five decades.